Hello, my name is Rex Basterfield, and this is a demo of my Qualcomm Fadex, which is a phase distortion explorer. For anyone uh, not too familiar with phase distortion, uh, I'll give you a quick run through, but there's more information in the uh, included user guide, and I've also included some uh, interesting links in the download. So phase distortion is a way of playing back a waveform table with varying uh, speeds of readout of that table. So if we take uh, a, a cosine wave, there's a lot of built-in waves to choose from. There you can see a nice smooth waveform. And if this is the, uh, the transfer curve or shape waveform, we can make the start the start of the waveform play back quickly and the rest of the waveform play back slowly. Okay. Now if we vary the amount of phase distortion which is uh, morphing between this transfer shape and a linear ramp, that's the linear ramp, and we vary that morph shape. Now the original uh, Casio method just included this type of um, curve or shape to the phase distortion uh, but on this you can, on the Fadex, you can make any shape you want. So and modulate that shape between basic waveform and the phase distorted waveform. Now the Fadex um, you can not only uh, set any uh, shape or transfer curve as I showed you just you there's a lot of built-in waveforms you can use as the base waveform you can uh, load your own waves or you can even draw your base wave here. So let's just uh, reset that to zero. Make a triangle wave. Smooth that down to make something more like a sine wave. So basically make any uh, any shape you want with its uh, curve drawing system. On the uh, original Casio system there was a selection of, I, I think it was three window functions. Uh, but on here you can uh, set whatever window shape you want. Let's uh, make this into a more foreman type of window. So you've got a lot of flexibility with your windowing. Now as you might expect, if you set sharp transitions like I've got here, it produces aliasing. So if your sound is too harsh or you want to get rid of some aliasing, you can use this tracking low pass filter which I just call tone here. So okay, that's a bit of a cheat, but the way to avoid it is to have less harsh transitions. Ooh. 
or less extreme phase distortion. Incidentally, when it comes to aliasing, the original uh, Casio series, if you listen carefully to some of the demos, you'll also hear aliasing due to this uh, digital technique. Now, of course, as you just heard, you can produce a huge range of sounds uh, with just the static settings of the phase distortion oscillator. But the system really comes into its own, of course, when you modulate the amount of phase distortion. So the first preset I've called the Explorer because it's set up in a very simple way. So you can just mess around with the controls and see what the effect is. For instance, this is just uh, the shape envelope altering the, uh, the shape setting. And we can use the mod wheel to control the shape. We can also modulate the shape by any combination of the three LFOs down here. So I've set the LFO 1 to modulate the shape with a delay and a fade in. As with the uh, original Casio series, um, which had two lines, they call them, uh, there are two lines here, which are basically identical. And if you set up the sound you want on line one, you can copy them all to line two. Now line 2 hasn't got the uh, LFO added, so I can add that, because this is a common control. This means you can go to line 2 and detune it a little bit. Unlike the uh, Casio system, uh, my line one and line two, uh, they've each got a sub oscillator, um, which you can use to fill the sound out. <laughs> Apart from the uh, facility to copy all line 1 to line 2, the other difference is that on line 1, the sub-oscillator has a phase module modulation, or FM as it's sometimes called, uh, level input. And the modulator for this is the whole output from line 2. And that gives you the possibility to make uh, sort of some classic DX type sounds. You can set the amount of FM or PM there. So that extends the range of the synth considerably, I would say. The uh, original Casio's had a ring modulator, and so I put one on the Fadex. So this is the bell sound again, with it without the. Uh, ring modulator. So that's quite a useful uh, addition to the uh, sound creation possibilities. So that was an overview of the synth in a, a very small nutshell and uh, as I always say please read the, all the details in the user guide that's included in the downloads because there's quite a bit more than I've shown you there. 
Now it's time to run through a few of the presets. I've uh, included 40 presets, which um, are good starting points and to give you some idea of uh, the capabilities of the synth and the uh, phase distortion uh, system. So there you go, hope uh, 
some of those presets have maybe inspired you uh, to have a look at phase distortion and uh, have some fun and experimentation and uh, read the manual please so uh, until the next time bye